Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have a simple math challenge on the board. Um, to me, I believe this is not a problem, this is not a math problem, um, but for the sake of um, request, we are going to look at this together. And I've solved some similar challenges on algebra on this channel already. You can scroll down to see um, some of the uh, challenges that are of this format. All right, so before we continue, if you've not subscribed, this is Online Mass TV. Do it to subscribe so that you get every new video released here. Because at Online Mass TV, we release video all the time. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Okay, so the question reads 27 to the power of A minus 9 to the power of A equal to 3A. So what is the value of A that will satisfy this expression? So we take our selection. All right, so from here, look at this question. We can check the base number here on the right-hand side is 3. Here is 9. So we can express this in base 3. Equally, we can express this in base 3. So if we do that, this will give us 3 to the power of uh, 3. That will give us 27. Or raised to the power of A minus 3 to the power of 2. And that is 9. Or raised to the power of A equal to 3 to the power of a. Easy. So all of them are having the same base number. Okay. Since this is 3 to the power of A, so we can shift in the A here and bring out the 2. We can equally do the same thing here according to the law of indices. So this will now give us 3 to the power of A, bracket to the power of 3, then minus 3 to the power of A, bracket to the power of 2, quarter, the 3 to the power of A. If we look at this, we now discover that 3 to the power of A is comma here, comma here, comma here. So let's bring in another alphabet to represent this. So from here, we now say let, uh, let's use a P, let P be equal to the 3 to the power of A. So we can rewrite the original equation, which is this expression here, to give us P to the power of 3 minus P to the power of 2 equal to your P, okay? Simply move this to this side to give us here p to the power of 3 minus p to the power of 2 minus p this equal to 0. Okay, so if you share carefully, here we are having p, p, p. Okay, so we can factor out p here. So if you factor out p, this will give us p bracket p to the power of 2 p minus 1 equal to 0. So if we apply the zero product rule here, this will give us p is equal to zero or p to the power of two minus p minus one is equal to zero. So let's take this other side. From here, this we don't have problem. So let's keep this. So automatically we could take this as p1. So let's look at the other side where we're going to get our p2 and p3. So we have here, P to the power of 2 minus P minus 1 equal to 0. Now, um, this is a quadratic equation. So we have to solve this quadratically using the formula method. So our formula says that P is equal to minus B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4 AC all over 2A. So we just bring our a, B, C from here and we go ahead. So we have A is equal to the coefficient of P square and B is equal to the coefficient of P, which is minus 1, minus 1 there. The constant term is minus 1. So putting this into the expression here, this will give us P is equal to minus bracket minus 1 close bracket plus minus the square root of minus 1 r to the power of 2 minus 4 times, or let's put it in bracket, the bracket minus 1. Okay? So that we don't get confused. So we have here 2 times 1. All right, so if we open up this, this we have plus 1, the plus minus the square root of here we have 1, the plus, because minus times minus gives us plus, so here we have 4 all over. R2. So let's just continue on this side. This will give us 1 plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Okay. So we have two roots from here. We have P1 and P, sorry, P2 and P3. 
So we have P2 is equal to 1 plus root 5 all over 2. And P3 is equal to 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Okay. Now recall we said let P be equal to 3 to the power of A. So how do we get our A? So let's continue on this side. So from here, we said we calculated for our P1 already, which is equals to zero. So if we take case one, so we have here case one, we have P is equal to zero. So if we have three to the power of A is equals to zero, yet there is no solution. Okay, so automatically no solution here. No solution. All right, then we take case two. Our case two, we have our P is equal to one. Yeah, look at our P here. We have one plus the square root of five all over two. Automatically, this is what we call the Goldi ratio. Okay, so from here, we're going to have our three to the power of A is equal to one plus the square root of five all over two. All we just need to do here, uh, we have to take the log to both sides of the equation. So let's ln both sides. So we have the ln of 3 to the power of a, okay, equal to the ln of your 1 plus root 5, close bracket, all over 2. According to the law of logarithm, move this exponent backward. So if we do that, we're going to have here a ln of 3, okay. Let's put this in bracket equal to the ln bracket your one plus the square root of five, which is our golden ratio. We divide by ln of three. Equally divide this side by ln of three. So this this leaves the system. So when I have our a is equal to, if we apply the division law of logarithm, then this will give us the ln of your bracket one plus root five close bracket minus the ln of two, okay, all over the ln of three. This is three plus ln of three. Okay, so this is the first root to our exponential equation that will satisfy that original equation. Okay, now let's look at case three. Case three, we have here your case three. We said P is equal to one minus the square root of five all over two. Now, if we take our three to the power of A is equal to one minus square root of five all over two. Yeah, we have positive and this side will give us negative, so it will not work out. And so, yeah, no solution yet also. So no solution. So in other words, this is rejected and Bix is also rejected. Case one is rejected, case three is rejected, only case two is the accepted root or answer that will satisfy this original equation. All right. So this marks the end to this um, a simple algebraic challenge, exponential challenge. If you learn something from this video, however simple it is, give the video a thumbs up. And if you not subscribe, just hit that subscribe button. It will take you zero effort, zero energy to do that. Remember, we love you because we are the reason for the existence of this channel. I love you. Bye for now.